joining me again today for another virtual drop-in art session from my studio. Thanks again to Perry County Council of the Arts for continuing to sponsor our drop-in art program online. Today we are going to make a really fun craft for autumn, an apple core magnet. So if you'd like to make today's project, stay tuned. Here come the supplies. For today's apple magnet project, you will need some colorful felt in red and green and brown, or you can also use construction paper if you don't have felt. You might want a jar lid to trace to get a curved shape. Therefore, you may need a marker. You will definitely need scissors to cut out your curve and your apple core shape. We'll need popsicle sticks for the body of our apple. We'll need a spare magnet, maybe from an advertisement and you will need either a hot glue gun or some tacky glue. Okay, so to get started, what we need to do is arrange our popsicle sticks in a line like so and kind of get an idea measurement of how large we need to cut our magnet. So I am going to just kind of see here how big I would want to cut it. And I'm gonna go lengthwise because that way it will cover more surface area. And I'm just gonna put a little mark and then I'm gonna cut from end to end to make a strip of magnet that I can glue to the back that will also hold all of my sticks together. So these thin like advertisement magnets are great for projects once you've done getting your service. Um, so we are going to use our hot glue gun, make sure they're all lined up, and I am going to spread a bit of the glue back here all across my magnet surface. You can also use craft glue if you have, if you are going to use a hot glue gun, make sure your adult helper can assist you so that you don't burn your fingers because that does not feel good. Okay, and this will hold all of our sticks together and then it will allow us to stick it up on our refrigerator to display some of our awesome school projects or other fall themed drawings or maybe you're gonna go apple picking or do something fun like that and you could use this to hang it up. So now that we have, this is going to be the interior like you've bitten all around the outside of the apple and this is just the core that's left so we are going to now make our top and bottom for our apple and to do that we are going to use our red felt or construction paper and we're going to trace our lid circle to make our circle shape so that we know it's just easier to trace something than to freehand it but you could freehand it if you wanted to and then i am going to cut out my apple It doesn't have to be perfect because even apples are not perfectly round. Okay, if your apple has character, isn't that more fun anyway? Okay, so now once we have our circle cut out, now we're going to kind of make a little scallop like you would have eaten the apple. So you've taken bites out of it. So you know how when you bite an apple, it's not perfectly straight across. So we want to cut a few gentle zigzags back and forth that make it look like we've eaten our apple. And that is the top and bottom of our little apple there. And we're gonna glue those in place now. So go ahead and put your glue on the top or bottom and stick your felt or cardboard pieces down. And you can see it's starting to look like an apple now, isn't it? And then we are going to add a little leaf. So that's what I'm going to use my green felt for, or you can use your green construction paper. And I'm just going to cut an oval with pointy ends. That's basically all a leaf is. Curve that a little tiny bit more. There we go. 
Okay, now you need to pick which is your top and which is your bottom. I think this one looks more like the bottom to me, so I'm gonna go ahead and stick my leaf coming out from the top. Just a little dot of glue, add my leaf, and now I'm gonna make my little apple stem. So I have brown felt, you can use brown construction paper if that's what you have, and we'll just go ahead and add that on. It's a little tall for me, so I'm gonna chop it. And if you want to, you can add a little rounding to the corners so that it looks a little bit more like a curved stem. But that's up to you because this is your project. And then I'm going to add the glue to the stem this time because it's a smaller area. Just watch those fingers if you're using hot glue or get your adult assistant to help you. And then we're going to add that on there. And then our final step is to take our marker and add some seeds, which are basically like raindrop shaped, right? So you can add as many seeds as you would like, but hopefully you didn't get too seedy of an apple. So I just add a few in the center. And there you have it. There is your fun fall themed apple core magnet. Thanks for joining me today, friends. Stay creative.